Hello, this is Tofu from Trifold Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can isolate a part of your mesh or a whole mesh in Blender uh, fairly easily with just one keyboard shortcut. Now, prior to this, I would uh, I've done tutorials on this where you would press Control B or Shift B and box select a certain part of the mesh or a mesh itself, and it would zoom in on that mesh. And to work on a uh, particular part of your mesh, you would press H to hide and Alt H to unhide it. But this is a lot easier. And what we're going to do now, as you can see, I've, I've got a series of Suzanne Monkey heads here. Let's say I want to work on this last one. I'm going to left click on that to select that. And I'm going to press backslash on my keyboard. And it zooms in. And as you can see, all the other monkey heads have disappeared because we've isolated this one. And this is the one we want to pretty much focus our attention on this one. Now to undo this uh, change you just press backslash again and there we go we get our scene back the way it was. Now if you wanted to work on a particular part of the monkey head let's say the eyes you would have to make sure that your eyes were separated from the rest of the mesh and let's do that right now let's just choose one of these let me click on that one and I'm going to scroll on my mouse wheel I'm going to separate the eyes from the rest of the monkey heads. I'm going to press tab here left click control L P that selection and then tab out of that tab out of that mode left click again to make sure we have selected the rest of the monkey head tab left click on that second eye control L P selection tab out now if we wanted to work on the eyes only and let's say we had a row of monkey heads here or a row of whatever it is in our scene you left click on that monkey head and you backslash okay this is one of the annoying things in blender because i've done this tutorial before and when i've activated the keyboard shortcut the eyes were still intact even though they were separated but for some reason it's not doing it now. I mean, you have to, this what you have to kind of be prepared for. I don't know about 3ds Max or Maya, but in Blender, sometimes this does happen. As I've said in prior t tutorials, sometimes this doesn't work the way you would want it to work. But you just have to kind of troubleshoot through it, and you'll be fine. So let's backslash again. So I guess it just wants us to select the eyes by themselves without selecting the head, since the eyes are what we want to work on. Let's say you want to work on this. Uh, I guess this would be the right eye. Let's left click on that backslash and we've isolated that eye so let's press tab we wanna, let's say we want to work on this eye probably maybe extrude it extrude the middle part let's press alt left click to select a series of vertices press s to scale it up tab out of that and let's let's make it smooth so w shade smooth and then let's left click again or let's click on our backslash key and you can see that it's done the change for us and it's kept it which is great see this eye has been we made it smooth and we kind of made it extruded the, it somewhat so we can you know make it look different from this eye but yeah that's the fastest way you can isolate a mesh in blender or part of a mesh but remember you have to make sure that if you want to work on parts of your mesh, make sure that it's been separated from the rest of the mesh. That way you can just select that part of the mesh with backslash and isolate it and work on it. Backslash again to go back to the full view of your model. So yeah, so that is today's Blender quick tip. And I thank you guys who have subscribed in the past. And those of you who are subscribing right now at this point in time, and those of you who will subscribe in the future, really appreciate, appreciate you guys. And thank you guys for watching this tutorial and for watching upcoming tutorials also. And I will see you guys on the next one. Alright, adios.